This is one of the example that if you revise body like this, higher the underarm point and sleeve like this, you see the bicep is bigger than before. Another example, if you revise the pattern like this, you go up the underarm point and remove the gusset. But in this case, the sleeve length is growing. Hi, I'm Jin. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. We're going to talk about gusset today. What is a gusset? Oftentimes, it's like a triangle or a diamond-shaped piece that gives additional room or flexibility to certain areas such as underarm or pants crotch so they improve the comfort or mobility of the garment and sometimes we make gusset just for decorative elements adding visual interest to a piece of clothing last year one of my clients showed me a jacket the jacket has a gusset at the underarm but it was not a separate piece. There was no seam. The gusset was attached to the under sleeve and the designer wanted to remove the gusset from the sleeve. So I revised the armhole and made a regular sleeve for the jacket. And that became one of their signature products. After that, I gave this product to some of the candidates when I hired pattern makers to see their pattern making skill levels. And I found out many people had a hard time to figure out how to remove the gusset. So today, I just want to show you how I did it and talk about sleep patterns in general. I already have a lot of videos on how to make sleep patterns. And I also have videos on the relationship between sleep cap height and bicep the relationship between sleeve sitting and the sleeve cap height. And I explained all the different ways of sleeve drafting in my past videos. So I'm not going to teach you how to make sleeve patterns today, but I'll show you the sleeve patterns with underarm gusset and the new patterns that I made without gusset. So you can see kind of my thought process. This is the jacket that I mentioned in the beginning. It is kind of a boxy fit. She can wear a sweater under this jacket. It's pretty comfy jacket. I'm gonna show you the sleeve. If you see the underarm, this sleeve has gusset attached to the under sleeve. So you can see the underarm point is really long. And because of the gusset, when you wear this jacket, you feel the underarm point not here, but a little bit higher because the fabric will fold this area. So this is the pattern. The underarm point is here. This jacket doesn't have actually side seam. The side seam is a little bit towards the back body. So the underarm point is on the front body. But anyway, this is the lowest point. But if we see the sleeve patterns, this is the underarm sleeve. So underarm sleeve has this gusset part. Otherwise, normally underarm sleeve shaped like this, right? But we have this part as a gusset. And this gusset made sleeve like this. On the garment, it looks like underarm point is here. But when you wear this jacket, because this gusset will fold around this area, we can say around here is actual underarm line. Hey, I want you to know that I have a master class that teaches you about pants balance. I show you how to draft the pants base frame and how to fix the pants balance if you are working on existing pants patterns. A lot of fitting issues with pants can be resolved simply by examining the pants balance. Head over to my website patternstudio101.com and watch that masterclass. Before I remove this gusset, I need to change the body armor. This pattern includes seam allowance. So the finish line after you stitch up will be this blue line. So here's your underarm line, right? But to have a regular sleeve for this jacket, this underarm point is kind of too low. But still, if it's your design point, that's okay. So I decide to go up a little less than two inches. 
about one inch and three quarter. When I measure this height from the underarm point to the fold line, it's about two inches and a half or three inches. But I don't want to go up my underarm point up to here because there will be seams, right? And stitch it with seam allowance, sleeve and body. For now, because there's no seam, even if this underarm point is a little bit higher, it might not really bothering you too much because it's just a folding line. But if you have all these seams and seam allowance and stitches up to here, I think it's too high for this style of jacket. So I just go up only one inch and three quarter. So the red one is the previous one. So we have way deeper underarm. And I feel the underarm to have a regular sleeve. And of course, the back pattern is adjusted according to the front pattern because the side seam everywhere should be matched, right? Once I revise the body armhole, I remake the sleeve. These are the old sleeve with the gusset, right? You can adjust this old sleeve pattern with this kind of curve. Underarm sleeve should be curved this way, right? And you can match to the new body arm all the length with notches. But I didn't do that. I just created brand new sleeve. Because the designer wants to have exactly the same bicep and sleeve hem measurement and even the sleeve length, I measured this old sleeve bicep and sleeve hem and the length, then just created a new one from scratch. Once you have body armhole length, and the bicep measurement you want, you don't have to worry about sleeve cap height, right? It's going to be calculated by itself. I have a video on how to make sleeve patterns from the bicep measurement, so you can watch this video. So this jacket is new one. Exactly the same, all the details. The sleeve is different. It's just a regular two-piece sleeve without gusset. If I show you the underarm area, it's like this. Actual underarm point is a little bit higher, but it is big enough for the regular jacket sleeve. I'm going to show you two examples that my student tried. The gray line is the original shape. This is one of the examples that if you revise body like this, higher the underarm point and sleeve like this, you see the bicep is bigger than before. Another example, if you revise the pattern like this, you go up the underarm point and remove the gusset. But in this case, the sleeve length is growing. So you have to think all of those things at the same time, right? If you ever want to have PDF written instructions for my YouTube tutorials, go to my website and become a member. Every Wednesday, when my new video drops, I send PDF written instructions to your inbox. You will get my YouTube video list as well, so you can easily find the exact lessons you need. So go to my website, patternstudio101.com. The link is in the description box. This channel is for young professionals to enhance their pattern making skills so that they can fast track their careers and boost their financial growth. Have a wonderful week. See you next time. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? I'll send you armor depth chart, dart calculator for skirt and pants, how to measure a guide, and much more resources as a welcoming gift. And you will get my weekly emails with great tips and techniques about pattern making. Go to my website patternstudio101.com and sign up.